Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again uh, for round two with some retail blister packs loose from Amazon. Uh, did really good on my last set of packs. So, I feel like I want to try it again. Let's see, let me get this out of here. Put these all here. There it is. A nice bunch of these for a thumbnail let's see how that goes and i'm gonna bust them all open again and start opening the regular packs let's try it okay here we go i got my stack here and let's see how i do yeah i'm gonna make some rim um last time around i got quite a few um, of the alternate borders and extended borders and foils and things that uh, were pretty nice. So I'm going to try to separate them out. So there's an alternate um, storybook frame and foil and we're going to go through the common <coughs> and uncommon regular foils here and put them in a different pile and then we got storybooks um, non foil and I got a command tower and a stone coil serpent extended border and a stolen by the fey standard foil rare okay so there's that and a token we're gonna put those over there hoping for something good Let's see here. Just a few foil uncommons I think that I'm out on the lookout for. We got a Rowan Stalwart is the regular rare. Got an Outlaw's Merriment. Got a um <laughs> I got a regular rare spot. Yeah, yeah. Gotta do it like this. Outlaw's Merriment and a foil fabled passage, which that's pretty good by itself, but it's not a foil extended border. We're going to put that here. Okay. So I think the the Amazon picker that grabbed my packs last time uh, did me really good. So hopefully we're going to have more of the same. Silver Flame Squire, very nice. Tournament Grounds. There's a uh, Murderous Rider, so that's a solid one for that slot, I think. It's going to go. There are so many different piles that need to be made for this. There we go. Guide Mother, Carver, Accomplices. Got a extended Castle Lock Thwain. And uh, it looks like I got a Torbran foil extended border there. So that one goes there. This one goes here. That one goes here, I think. Sure. And at the end, I'm going to scan these up and see how I did all told. So the last time around, I got several of that style. Uh, maybe won't do quite as good this time. It's one of those. Some of these. Beautiful art. Whether it's in foil or not foil. Another murderous rider. Okay. Well, these are going for about 10 bucks or so still. So that's still a good pick for me. We've got a love struck beast. Curious pair. Chulane. Hmm. Gotcha. So that was the non-foil storybook section, which turned out really good. Two rares. And Chulane and a, a Rankle, uh, which I had uh, extended border, which I had gotten a foil one last time. Let's see. This one is going to go here. And a uh, extended folio of Fancy. So still pretty good. Great. So for any of you guys that are interested in samples of these kind of things that are coming out of packs, hopefully this is had, adding to your data. I'm not one of those guys that is going to keep a spreadsheet of all this, but I am interested in the results <laughs> when other people do the work. Order of Midnight. Let's see, those were all regular foils. Carver, Smitten Swordmaster. Got a Rowan from the Planeswalker deck. Return of the Wild Speaker, and it looks like I got a regular 
foil rare love strike beast yeah all right I think the the box average is about four of those if I'm not mistaken from what I've heard so hopefully we can do at least that on my 12 packs here Sir Farron the Hinge Hammer. Another Order of Midnight. Shepherd of the Flock. Rose Thorn Acolyte. Another Tulane. Another good one. Vantress Gargoyle. And a Gilded Goose in foil. Not too shabby. But not uh, extended. Got a Rider. Got a Kiss. Got a Rimrock Knight in alternate storybook foil. And a Beanstalk Giant. That's cool. Okay. Swordmaster Godmother, Rimrock Knight. Fairy Formation. Another, I think, is that a Brawl Deck one? Not sure. Castle Arden Vale. And an Osworn Knight. Regular foil rare. Okay, so this is starting to seem more like the distribution of a lot of the boxes that uh, people are getting. But I still got half of them to go. Shield Breaker, Secret Keeper, Guide Mother, Command Tower again, Castle Lockthwain, Happily Ever After for a rare foil. That's that. So, so far, about standard, I think. Got an alternate there. Another murderous rider. Wow. So that is gonna go here, and an, and a fay of witches. So two rares in that slot. That's pretty decent. Corvold, Brawl Deck, uh, that, that is an alternate. So I haven't pulled one of these yet. Got a extended Fires of Invention and an extended Black Lance Paragon. So there's a th my third one. Uh, that was not a foil. This one is a foil. So I got three packs left, hoping to get at least one more of those. Let's see how it goes. Alternate Smitten Swordmaster again. Okay. Again, this section, I'm getting a rare Fey of Wishes. Okay, Ranger, Merchant of the Veil. So this one goes here. These ones are going to go there. Got an Oko's Hospitality. A uh, regular tour brand. Well, not a regular. It's an extended non foil. This one goes here. This one goes here. And I got a. I got one of these guys in my last batch, a extended foil Yorvo. So there's my fourth extended foil. Can I get one more? And possibly exceed this the 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 standard amount. Another murderous rider. That's pretty funny. Shield Breaker, Acolyte, Gluttonous Troll, Regular Rare, Fabro Elder, Extended Non Foil Rare, and a Charming Prince in foil. Okay, last one. Got a Knight at the end there. Eye Collector, right, Merchant of the Veil, that's one of those. Seem to be getting kind of on average one or so in this foil section. Drowning the Lock is one that I'm going to pull and actually count as a, a good foil win right there. Guide Mother, Swordmaster, Acolyte, Taste of Death, regular rare. Sorcerer's Spyglass, Extended Art, 
at a midnight clock regular foil rare so it looks like I've hit kind of the average um, so just got four extended there nothing really big I don't think um, so I'm gonna scan all this up and see how close I got to what I paid for this Okay, so coming up to the gift of Fabled Passage, 1799, stolen by the Fae. Only 90 cents on that one. All right, so I'm up to my foil extended arts. They're not super big ones. And let's see if the scanner likes them. There we go. Lord, Lord of Garenbrig is 19. Black Lance Paragon, 21. Folio of Fancies. 19 all in that range and then the tour brand Thane of Redfell extended art foil we're frozen it was 45 bucks so there we have it ended up at 399 TCG mid uh, quite a bit less than the last 12 packs that I got but this seems to be more in line with what people are experiencing when they buy a box so um, buying loose collectors packs at the retail blister it's not a slam dunk according to this small sample size of two 12 packs um, but it was fun to try again so anyway hope you had fun watching it uh, make sure to like and comment down below and catch me on the next one